the facts presented here in this video are based on my own findings from my own research and nothing presented in this video is meant to offend anyone. Also at this point I feel that it would be remiss of me if I did not also add a trigger warning uh, for in this case there is mention of abuse, miscarriage and suicide. This Detective Squirrel Investigate video is on the subject of Ruth Ellis, the last woman to be executed in the UK. Ruth was born Ruth Nielsen in Sunny Rill, North Wales, to the musician Arthur Nielsen Hornby and Elizabeth Gotos in 1926. Sunny Rill, Rill is called Sunny Rill for um, a interesting and sometimes irritating meteorological fact that I have personally witnessed uh, numerous times. While on the promenade in Colwyn Bay, a, another North Wales seaside town further along the coast, I have no, numerous times been under cloudy, overcast, sometimes raining weather, and there'd be a single sh beam of sunshine breaking through the clouds and shining on rill. Anyway, back to the case. At just 17 years old, Ruth had a fling with a Canadian airman named Clara, Clara Andrea and had a son she named Clara Andrea after his father and gave him the family name of Hornby that her father Arthur had adopted when they moved to the United Kingdom. Her son would become sim known simply as Andy. In, in 1950, Ruth would meet George Johnson Ellis, a divorced 41-year-old dentist. They would marry on the 8th of November 1950. In 1951, Ruth gave birth to a daughter, Georgina Jane Ellis. But George refused to acknowledge Georgina was his child. This led to them to separate before finally divorcing. By 1953, she was living with Desmond Cusson, an ex-RAF pilot she had known for some 30 years. Her good friend, motor racer Mike Hawthorne, introduced her to David Blakely and they became lovers. But Blakely became increasingly violent and bitter over Ruth continuing, continuing to see other people. He asked her to marry him, which she reluctantly accepted. In January 1955, Ruth became pregnant again, but in a rage and not believing that the child was his, Blakely punched her in the stomach, causing a miscarriage. On Easter Sunday, 10th of April 1955, Ruth followed David Blakely and his friend Clive Gunnell to the Magdala Public House in South Hill Park, Hampstead. She waited outside until they left, and as they headed for Blakely's car, Ruth shouted to him, pulled out a 38 Smith & Western Victory from a handbag and fired. Her first shot missed. Blakely started to run, but the second shot caused him to collapse to the pavement. Ruth stood over him and fired a third, fourth and fifth shot. She had difficulty getting the revolver to fight and fire the final shot, which eventually hit the ground, ricocheted and hit a bystander. Ruth turned to Blakely's friend Clive, Gunnell, and asked, Will you call the police, Clive? She was arrested and said to the arresting police officer, I am guilty. I'm a little confused. The judge looking over proceedings was Sir Cecil Havers. Her defence counsel, Aubrey Melford Stevenson. The prosecution counsel was Travers Christmas Humphreys. When Humphreys questioned Ruth, he asked, when you fired the revolver at close range into the body of David Blakely, what did you intend to do? She answered, 
it's obvious when I shot him, I intended to kill him. The jury just took just 20 minutes to find her guilty. Despite her protestations, Ruth's mother, Elisabetta, urged Ruth's solicitor, John Bickford, who had been chosen by Desmond Cusson, to write to the Home Secretary, Gwilym Lloyd George, to appeal the death sentence. Lloyd George received a seven-page letter, but refused the to appeal. According to actor Nigel Havers in an interview in 2010, his grandfather Cecil Havers, the judge on the case, himself had made a request of the Home Secretary to appeal the death sentence, as it was obvious a crime of passion. But Lloyd George also rebutted this appeal. Ruth dismissed Bickford and asked to see Leon Simmons, clerk to the solicitor Victor Mishkon, who had represented her during her divorce proceedings. Ruth wanted to make her will. Simmons and Mishkon pressed her to give them her full story. According to Simmons and Mishkon, Ruth revealed that it was Desmond Cusson who had given her the revolver, apparently for shooting practice. She would also claim that Cussons drove her to the Magdala. After CID had looked into this story, Simmons and Mishcon appealed again to Lloyd George, who again denied the request, adding that these further details only go to prove a level of premeditation. And so, on the morning of the 13th of July 1955, Ruth Ellis was hanged by the Britain's most famous hangman, Albert Pierpoint. Ruth Ellis would become famous as the last woman to be executed in Britain. Her case would support the public want for the abolition of the death penalty, which would eventually happen in 1964. But the story does not end there. In August 1958, after a descent into alcoholism, George Ellis, Ruth's ex-husband, hung himself. In 1969, Ruth's mother, Elisabetta, was found unconscious in a gas-filled room in her apartment in Hemel Hempstead. Ruth's son, Andy, after desecrating his mother's grave, hung himself in 1982. Ruth's daughter Georgina died of cancer at the age of 50. In 2003 and again in 2007, petitions were signed requesting an appeal. Both were ignored by the then Labour government. In 2012, Ruth's sister Muriel, along with true crime writer Monica Weller, published a book entitled Ruth Ellis, My Sister's Secret Life, in which Muriel suggests that Ruth was a scapegoat, a third man was present and was the actual shooter, suggesting links to Stephen Ward and the Perfumo scandal. Despite Scotland Yard looking into these accusations, no evidence was found. And so that ends this tale of Ruth Ellis, the last woman to be executed in Britain. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave your like, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And um, in the comments below, if you there are any other interesting cases you would like the channel to actually do a video on, then let us know. In the meantime, this is Detective Squirrel, out.